And the Prime Minister, ma'am. Do you have a seat? Thank you. It's good to see you again after quite a summer. I'm referring to your visit to Pakistan and India, where your comments about ending historic disagreements went very well. And the Commonwealth heads of government meeting. I spoke to the minister, prime minister of Malawi, who was saying how much he appreciated your tough stance on Nigeria. I would have told you at the time, but you were being monopolized, Robert. I imagine in all those occasions, it's very difficult. 24 heads of government, each clamoring for a private audience. Also, we haven't had a chance to talk since that week. I wanted to offer my apologies. Whatever for. In case you felt mismanaged or mishandled in any way. Not at all. I don't think I should ever understand what happened this summer. The circumstances were exceptional. And in the end, you showed great personal strength, courage, and humility. You're confusing humility with humiliation. That's not true. You didn't hear what they were saying at the mall that Friday. I still believe history will say that you had a good week. Even a better one for you, Mr. Burr. But there are 52 weeks in a year, man, and two and a half thousand in a half century. And when people come to assess your legacy, no one will remember those days. Really? You don't feel the respect or affection that people once had for this institution has been diminished? Not at all. I gather some of your closest advisors were less fulsome in their support. One or two, but as a leader, one has a different perspective. I could never have added my voice to that chorus. You're very kind. But let's not forget the more pragmatic reason. Which it is? That without me there to distract everyone, suddenly became embarrassingly clear how much in Czech power the British Prime Minister actually has. And in 50 years of doing my job has taught me anything, is that the people doing yours generally prefer me with all my faults to a more meddling president. Just look at the French. I suppose you better get on with the business in hand. I do love this time of day. Should we walk while this good sunshine left? I do hope you're walking. I am. Good. The clocks go back next week. Then it'll be dark by five. I always think these meetings want a better chance of succeeding if the prime minister is a walker. As a matter of fact, that's how I think best, on my feet. I never was one to sit around endlessly. A go walk, some fresh air, sorts everything out. One out of four, you said, you wanted to get rid of me. But only for half an hour. After that, you came down to London and all that went away. I've never been hated like that before. No. And I suppose it was very difficult. It was very. Ever since Diana, the people want glamour and tears, the grand performance. And I'm just not very good at that. I prefer to keep my feelings to myself. And foolishly, I believe that's what the people wanted from their queen. Not to make a fuss or wear one's heart and one's sleeve. That's how I was brought up. That's how I ever know. One forgets. You were so young when you became queen. 